Hello, my fellow believers. It's Redemptor once again with another interesting video. As I told you on my previous videos, I am not a preacher, neither do I intend to be one in the future. On this channel, I do commentary videos commenting on different topics concerning Christianity and most importantly, the salvation by the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a channel where you get to hear what many preachers won't tell you the truth of the gospel. We are all ambassadors in Christ and our work is to share the truth of the gospel to the world and to the non-believers. Criticism as it is sounds bad, but it's good because many a times it changes people for the better. In today's video, I came across this woman on YouTube while scrolling and it captured my attention. Pastor Gino Jennings, because of his fearless and courageous nature, he has attracted so many haters as possible. I don't know if to say this or not, but could this be one of his haters? Or truly, she was right. It's been years since the incident that happened between the Jamaican singer Mr. Vegas and Pastor Gino Jennings. But I still found this video relevant because it has never popped on my channel before. Let's watch her speak. Um, I just wanted to speak about a video that I saw rotating. It's a video regarding Gina Jennings. Gina Jennings is apparently a pastor. So it's a video I saw with Gina Jennings and Vegas, which people are, which people, some people refer to as Mr. Vegas. Now Vegas is um a dance hall entertainer if i should put it that way or i don't want to, i don't i don't want to say he's a dj or a singer i don't know but i know that he's a dance hall um entertainer um i think i'm not sure but i think in recent times i heard that he was converted to christianity or you know he's a christian now or something to that effect i am not sure i don't want to make any wrong speculation i'm not sure anyway i want to talk about the video that i saw with Vegas and Gina Jennings I didn't know exactly what happened but it appears that there were they were at Gina Jennings church I hope I'm not wrong if I'm wrong anybody please correct me um, it appears that they were at Gina Jennings congregation and they were supposed to be doing a maybe what is a debate I think G, um, Gina Jennings which is a pastor um, I'm not sure where he's from, but he and Vegas was supposed to apparently be doing um, some form of debate. I don't know about what, um, but they were supposed to be doing some form of debate. I also saw a part of the video where, um, you know, Vegas was on the stage and he was saying that um, Gina Jennings is a liar and he's lying. At that point, I wasn't sure what Vegas was saying that the pastor was lying about. But, you know, past, other, other men from the church, from Gina Jennings Church, started surrounding Vegas and, um, you know, wanting to take him out of the church. As, as the pastor was saying, you know, get him out of the church, take away his microphone and usher him out of the church. And um, Vegas was trying to make a point, I, I, you know, based on what I'm seeing. They were all surrounding him and Vegas was standing up and I heard Vegas say uh, that the pastor, this pastor Gina Jennings, was calling some women whores or as he, Gina Jennings, say, ho. We were not saying at any time that a woman is a whore because she wear makeup or because she wear fake hair or because she wear jewelry at no time did we say a woman is a whore because she wear those things we were dealing with with the way women look look it's a look and the look of a whore include makeup. Now he says it doesn't. Where Vegas was saying, 
you know, he called your mother a whore and your mother a whore and your mother a whore. Having to your, like, you know, Vegas was basically saying, having to your mother or whoever or any woman that you love, haven't they ever wore lipstick? Haven't they wore makeup? Haven't they, they wear nail polish and stuff like that? Does that mean that a woman is a whore? Okay, so now I had a little better understanding of what was taking place with the with with Vegas. What, what I, I had a better understanding of what caused the altercation. Um, I, I saw another video again, and I saw another video. Now I'm seeing the video of Gina Jennings actually preaching about these women, and I heard him say that um, there are some women who are preaching, calling themselves so-called pastors with red lipsticks and um, long nails and nail polishes and tight jeans pants and these things, and he's saying that they're whores. You so-called Christian looking whores, chomping in some church, flapping your ankle chains around, all on the choir, breasts hanging out, lips all red, nails painted red, purple, blue, green, long like bird claws, all this fake hair, breast skin plant, toenails painted with little fake diamonds in it, your toes ain't richer, you're nothing but a prostitute. Amen. Amen. Yeah, man. So go ahead, go to church now. Go to church. Right. Got nothing but a singing hoe, a shouting That's hoe, right. an yeah. organ playing hoe, yeah. a choir director hoe. Yeah. So if God, ha if God have women working for Him, speaking on the pulpit, preaching and ministering to to, to the souls of people out there, and if they're wearing red lipstick or whatever color lipstick or red nail polish or whatever color nail polish or tight jeans yes he's saying that these women are whore this was the word of the pastor um gina jennings right okay i i was touched by that you know because i saw a lot of people in the comments were saying vegas i get mad and the man i get mad vegas are the jamaican um like some people were saying um vegas is a jamaican 80 percent of the comments that i was reading on that video were negative to um negative um towards vegas i mean i said to myself say wow all these are negative and Vegas was saying, I heard Vegas saying a few things. He was saying, you know, um, that the pastor was wrong and he was saying to these people that, you know, he called your mother a whore and your mother a whore and your mother a whore, but they were all basically attacking Vegas. Nobody was on his side and he was telling them that they were under the, the Willie Lynch syndrome, something to that effect he was saying to them. After listening to this woman, truly she must be on Vegas' side, which is not wrong anyway. Everyone has a right to their own opinion. As I always say, I don't concur with Pastor Gino Jennings on everything, and I will never support the wrong thing. Pastor Gino Jennings might have called women whatever this woman is claiming, but one thing I always believe is that one has to look into the context of what the other person was addressing. In this case, who were the women that Pastor Gino Jennings targeted or spoke about? Let's watch his side of the story. You so-called Christian-looking whores. That's it. Chomping in some church, flapping your ankle chains around. All on the choir, breasts hanging out, lips all red. Nails painted red, purple, blue, green, long like bird claws. All this fake hair, breasts in plants. Toenails painted with little fake diamonds in it. Your toes ain't richer. You're nothing but a prostitute. Amen. Amen. Yeah, man. So go ahead, go to church now. Go to church. Right. Got nothing but a singing hoe, a shouting That's hoe, right. a organ playing hoe, a choir director hoe. Hey, hey, preacher, preacher, preacher. If what I just said describe your wife, you're married to a hoe. Yes. Amen. Am I right, I said? Yes. Talk to me. Yes.
There are ways of correcting one another with love, for our God is love. We should be on the front line to portray the decent way of life for others to emulate. Pastor Juno Jennings' message was right, but his way of passing it was very wrong and disrespectful to women. How can he call the wife of another pastor a prostitute? This is very wrong and should be condemned. The Bible in Galatians 6, 1-5 says, Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness, considering yourself lest you also be tempted. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let each one examine his own work, and then he will have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. For each one shall bear his own lot. As for Gino Jennings, I don't know this man, but I've observed him a few times on the local TV station. I'm not sure if it is CVM or TVJ, but I have observed him, I would say somewhat briefly, because I have never really been 100% compelled to sit and hear all of what he has to say because usually by the time he reaches halfway into what he's saying i am no longer interested because the spirit of god i don't feel the spirit of god coming from him based on the things that he's saying as i conclude the bible is very clear on how brethren should correct one another after watching and listening to those words coming out of pastor Gino Jennings' mouth is a woman I didn't find it right. Let's not make these preachers idols so we can point out their mistakes whenever they are wrong. I also blame Pastor Gino Jennings' wife because as a woman, she shouldn't have allowed her husband humiliate women in such a manner. It is wrong and the Bible is against such abusive utterances. Thank you for your company and for your support. I don't take it for granted. I really appreciate you. If it is your first time coming across our channel, kindly consider subscribing. Press the notification bell so you will be notified once we upload a new video. Please remember to give our videos a thumbs up. I love you so much, guys. Bye-bye for now and see you on the next one. Shalom.